Welcome back, all you OGs out there. Whether you're an online gamer, an original gangster, or just an old geezer like me, this is Yuli 1961 for Old Gamers Never Die. And I am sitting here on Atlas, but the video today is more generic. This is going to be talking about what to do when you get ready to get on your game. And this is specifically for games that are on Steam, PC versions that are modded, okay? So if you're not playing on a modded server, this is not the video for you. I, I appreciate you dropping by. That's awesome. But uh, this is a video to help you get through that mod miss that match issue so that you can get back to your game, get back to playing, and enjoy the rest of your day. Or night. Or, you know, early, early morning. Because <laughs> who knows what time it is when you're gaming. So let's get to it. <laughs> All right. So you started your game up. You hit join. And it just, it just sits there. It tries. It says it's gonna play, and it, then it just stops. Or maybe you get all the way through, and you get to the screen where you'd start the game, and you get this big error that says, mod mismatch. That's the last thing you wanna see, right? Because, you know, you wanna play the game. It takes a while for some of these games to load anyway, especially if you're not running off of an SSD card. So you go through the process, of setting your game up, you get ready to play because you got some time, and then boom, it just sits, it, it creeps along, and it'll get to a point where it doesn't do anything. Or it pops up after loading your mods and says mod mismatch. So I'm gonna tell you what you can do to help get this resolved so that you can go on and play. Now, there's a few caveats that I'll put out there. There's basically five things that have to work. And I'm not a computer expert, but I'm just telling you from experience. Five things that have to work if you're playing on a modded game, and this works for Atlas, it works Ark, Conan, Minecraft, if it's on Steam, and this is what we're going to be specifically talking about, Steam game, there are steps that you can do when you get to the screen and it says it's not working or it's not loading or you get the mod mismatch error that will help. Okay, so the five things are, first, the game may have updated, right? So the game, the authors of the game may have decided to put something in there or done a hot fix or whatever else. The second, the mod could have updated, okay? So you're playing a game and you're playing modded servers, then sooner or later, the mod devs out there are, they're always tweaking their stuff and more power to them. These folks out there doing mods are basically doing it because they enjoy doing it. They're not doing it to make a killing of money. They may be showcased in some things. People may have donated to them. They may have a Patreon account that people donate to, but it's not a full-time job. And so they're doing this when they can. So I appreciate it. I appreciate all these mods out there. There are some fantastic mods for all these games. Understand that it takes work and they're mostly doing it as a way to either get their foot in the door with a development company or for fun and either either way, give them a break. Okay, so I've said that, let's move on. We're stuck. So we could have a game update. We could have a mod update. We could have a Steam update, which happens pretty regularly. At least once a week, they do, do an update, sometimes more than that. It could be a Windows update. That's the fourth thing it could be. And fifth, it could be a driver update. So if you're using the NVIDIA drivers or whatever your graphic uh, setup is, that might have updated. So all five of those things could update to cause you to have this. Nothing happened. It just sits there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out if I can get out of this thing. And I just, uh, I've got two monitors. So, but basically you can alt tab out or try to get to your, if you're on a Windows machine, hit the Windows button. And as long as you're getting to the control bar at the bottom and you can find that icon and just close it and it'll go away. Okay. It's gone. Now, uh, don't judge me. I got a lot of icons. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to go to steam because steam is the platform that we're playing on. Right? Again, I'm not talking about Epic. Uh, that's probably a separate video. If you're getting your mods from Nexus Mods or or some of these other mod websites, this may or may not help you at all. I don't know. But this is what you can do for a game that's on Steam that's modded through Steam. Okay, so here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our library. Okay? Again, don't judge me. I got a lot of games that I, I uh, play and some that I haven't played and some that are on my backlog to play one day and some I've played and I've gotten tired of. I'll tell you this, though. If, if anybody out there tells you you got to be rich to play games, I'm telling you, you don't. Because Steam, Epic, pretty much every one of these game distribution points on the web, they offer free games all the time. 
time. And most of these games I either got for free or I got at a discount rate when there was a Steam sale or, or whatever. Some I did pay full price for, but I've gotten to the point where I don't even want to pay full price for a game anymore. I'll wait when it comes out, make sure it worked because <laughs> so many of them crash and burn at launch. And then I'll go from there. Okay, so because uh, a lot of times they'll go on sale <laughs> at the next holiday or the next big event. Yeah, I'll just kind of wait it out. I'm not that that crazy. I got, like I said, I got a huge backlog. I got plenty of stuff to play. Anyway, let's get back to the point of this discussion. Uh, I get told I'm rambling on my videos all the time. So sorry about that. It's just the way my brain works. So we're on our Steam. We go to our library. And in our library, we pick the game that's hung up. And so in my case, it's Atlas. All right. And then what we want to do is we want to go down and you want to look at this line here. Store page, community hub, find groups, discussions, guides, workshop. Workshop is the one you want to click on. Okay. So click on that. And what that's going to do is give you all the mods that Steam has on it that are for your game. Great, right? You you might have gone through this when you were looking at mods. Maybe you were setting your server up. Maybe you just have no <laughs> recollection at all of ever being to this page. But when you play the game, the mods, if it's a modded server, will download to your computer. Then the mod will work on your computer. Or you can subscribe to them through Steam and uh, and have them on your computer. It's, it's the same basic thing. All right, so we, we are at our mod page for the game. Now what we want to do is find out what mods do we have. So so the mods that I have running for this game are going to be under the settings. So you go up here to browse and then you use a drop down here. You go down to subscribed item. Now these are going to be all the subscribed mods that you have. So it may not be the mods that are specifically at that server, but this is going to give you all of them. And more likely if you're playing a lot on the same server, that's the ones that are going to be up there. Okay. So now we've got our mods. It's a list of everything that's on my, my setup for Atlas. But the thing we want to do is in on this page here, we want to come over to the right on this little area right here. It says subscribed items and it has a drop down. It's going to default to date subscribe. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to change that. We drop down and we go date updated and we click that button. And what it'll do is resort all your mods to whatever the last date updated will be at the top of your list, right? Makes sense. So this, and I look at my list, clinger additional parts reforged just got updated at seven o'clock on March 25th and this is March 25th. So it was for me, it was when I'm recording this video, uh, this was updated this morning and that's why I can't get in the game. So what do I do? Do I go to the forums and try to get a hold of the, the uh, server host? Well, you know, if they're, you're good friends with them and you want to just text them and say, Hey, it's, I can't get in. You can do that and they may be able to reset the server. We'll talk about that in a minute, but this is quick and easy for you to do first. All right, so you go to your mod page, you sort by date updated, and you look at what's on top. And lo and behold, this one's been updated. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go to this button and I'm gonna click unsubscribe. Don't worry, it's not gonna go away. So watch, boom, unsubscribe. Now, I have now unsubscribed from that from my computer. And now what I need to do is go back here, you see the highlighted name of the mod. You can click on that again. It's gonna take you to the mod page. And then you just go right down here and subscribe again. You know you're subscribed when the little checkbox is on there. Or if you hover over it, it says unsubscribe. Now what you want to watch for is this to happen. Downloading and see it's downloading a mod. If I click on this, yeah, see Atlas is updating. So that's what's going on right now. This mod is being uploaded on my computer so that it'll be the right version of the mod for me to play the game on the server. Let's go back here. We'll go back to workshop. Subscribed items. And there we go. All right, so when this finishes running, then we can probably go back into the game and it'll work. So there are times when that doesn't work. Remember I said there's five things that gotta work out, right? If your computer is like mine and you leave it on all the time, you may want to also update Steam. I have a lot of friends that play on servers that I run or play on other servers and they say, well, I turn my computer off every night and when I restart it, Steam restarts. So I shouldn't have to do that. You may still have to, okay? So when I'm at this point, I let it finish downloading. So I'll go to the Steam exit and I will click on that and get completely out of Steam, restart Steam, because now I've got the mod updated, right? And then when I restart Steam, everything should sync the way it's supposed to. There's a lot of people who think to get out of Steam, what I need to do is I go up here to the right and look at this top X and I go click and I'm out of Steam. You're not out of steam. All you've done actually is minimize it to run in the background. It probably isn't going to show up in your hot bar down here, but it's still running. Trust me, it's still running. You want to see if I double click on it again, it's still downloading that mod. It's just chugging through it because steam doesn't exit. If you click this X button, it just doesn't do it. 
And if you think that's you have exited Steam when you click that and you start it back up and it still doesn't work, it's because you really didn't exit Steam. What you need to do is come over here all the way up to the top where it says Steam and you click on that and see you go down to the bottom of that drop and there's exit. That's what you want to do. Okay, so our mod is finished downloading. So I'm going to go ahead and kill two birds with one stone since I'm already in Steam and I'm going to exit it. All right, so I'm out of Steam, completely out. And now I'm going to restart Steam. Okay. Drop in my password. And Steam will restart. Oh, look at here, it's downloading some more stuff, see? So yeah, Steam had to update thing and now it is fully updated. Need that. Um, and now I can go start the game and it should work. Now, like I said, you may still have driver issues because your, your NVIDIA card updated or you may have Windows updated that needed to be installed. So if that's going on in the background, you need to get that taken care of too. And it'll, you'll see it when the game starts, uh, whether it's Atlas, Arc, Conan, any of them, the, the picture will either be offset, it'll look wrong and you'll go, oh, something's wrong with my video driver. So just exit out of the game. For me, my NVIDIA is in my little bar down here i can where's nvidia uh-huh where is it here somewhere <laughs> it's not ah awesome okay so yeah find your nvidia icon and go to nvidia's drivers and make sure you're running the latest drivers all right so we go down here to nvidia you don't really want the control panel what you want is the nvidia corporation at least that's what it's on mine and i want the geforce experience because that's where i can tell whether my drivers are up to date and there's on my launch page. I'll go over here to drivers. And again, if you're not using a NVIDIA card and your card is something else, then you should still have a driver page. But look at that, there's a new driver. So let's go ahead and get that because I might as well, if I'm gonna get ready to play the game, I wanna make sure I've got the most up to date drivers. And if that's slowing me down or keeping me from getting on the game, I certainly don't want to have to go through all this all over again. So I got my driver set up, it's gonna download. I'm gonna take a quick break uh, and splice this together when it's done. Okay, we are back. And as luck would have it, as I got my video drivers updated, it restarted my computer. And guess what? There was a Windows update. So I couldn't film that because it got OBS off. But anyway, so we should be good. So right now, out of the five things, I have unsubscribed and subscribed back to the newest mod that came out for my game, right? That's where I'd start because that's the easiest fix. If it does work for you there, great. The next is, if that's still not working, try exiting out of Steam, completely out. Remember the top left button, exit and get out of Steam and then restart Steam. If that's still giving you problems, go to your video driver software and update your video drivers and try to make sure that your Windows stuff is up to date. Now mine is, I thought I updated it the other day, but I guess there was another one. So anyway, so we are set. Everything that we can do is done. So now we're going to come out of this. I'm going to restart Atlas and we're going to see what happens. My bet is it's going to run. And for those of you who've never played Atlas, I have been playing it every Friday night on the live stream. Please take a look at the videos. I'll leave a link up in the top corner so that you can know where the playlist is if you're interested in seeing what this game is like. If you like playing games like Ark or Conan or any of the survival sandbox type games, you'll probably like it. If you like pirates and building ships and sailing the seven seas and kind of cool. It had a rough start, but it's doing much better now. There's a new dev team in there working on stuff. And as I was looking at mods one night, came across the Indecent Queens mod pack and got the link to their servers. I'll also leave that in the description of the video down here. They have a five by five, which will soon be a six by six grid, which is 36 different biomes and maps and things like that. They are an awesome group. They run a great PVE type situation that they have. There may be some events that they do that are, you know, they're thinking about doing some sort of PVP. But uh, if, if you want to go and experience the game, they've got a lot of quality of life mods running that really make it so that you get started without all the grind. If you want to do the grind, and you want to do the whole thing go on the officials and get the whole experience 
but if you don't have weeks and days to get your your character up, upgraded up to speed and really motoring through uh this is a great alternative if you're going to play a pc on modded maps i can tell you i've experienced a wonderful group of people that both play there and that run those servers so yeah give it a shot as i said the link's below in the description all right so good thing we can see down here we're loading mods yeehaw it's going to take a minute because we have quite a few mods that run on these servers so as this thing winds up and it's ready to go i'll up oh, oh there it is wow and there yeah, we're at the snapshot 16 and the game is starting Woohoo! this always makes me nervous when it just goes to black but it, it should come on in a second i hope uh there we go yay we're playing we're doing stuff <laughs> okay so uh let's uh let's brighten this thing up a little bit my default settings are a little bit off all right so yeah we're in the game now we're on board and where are we where i left off so like i said those are the things that you can try to get on the game the graphic not clipping in probably because when i update nvidia it likes to set its own way of how the game should play which is not exactly the way i want to do it let's try to try putting this away and then try to put it back out see what happens we'll do the yeah there we go now we're getting now we're getting there i bet it looks like a paint brush there we go see it popped back in okay cool all right anyway so those are the things you can try to get on your server again i would start with the if you're playing on a modded server go to your mods find the mod that's been last updated unsubscribe like i showed you subscribe back to it by clicking on the header that come that will still be there it's not going to go away it'll take you to their page hit hit subscribe again if you got a bunch of them you kind of might have to bounce back and forth if, they, if you had a bunch that updated at the same time or since the last time you played and that should work and you can go on into the game and try to see if it does it's just you know atlas arc conan they all have relatively long load times especially if you don't have an ssd card that you have these games on so if i'm going to do something i'm going to do it and just try to get it knock it all out at one time so that's what i did and i do have an ssd card that run these because i would not run them on a regular hard drive it just takes too long to do anything so we're in the game everything worked and we're ready to play so that's how you deal with mod mismatches if you're playing on a modded server on a game that's on steam if there's interest in me looking at other setups steam you play epic i mean epic you play uh, other server warehouses type things, and I could probably go and take a look at that. But hopefully this gets you up and playing again. And if it doesn't, if this still doesn't work, everything is, is still not working and you're, you're not getting in, then it's time to check with the server owners and see when the last time they updated the server. Indies and Queens, they, they update with Steam like every hour. So it's not usually them when it, this thing happens. It's usually been one of the other things. Uh, but if you have somebody that just has a friend that's got a server up and they don't keep track of steam or depend on what service they use they don't have an auto updater that that point it's it's reach out to them and say hey can you reset restart your server um and and see if that doesn't work for you now who knows how many times how many if a lot of people are playing and they're all on they may not want to reset it and kick everybody off I, that's between you and the server owners okay well thank you a lot for coming thank you for watching if you learned something today that's awesome if you got something out of it please leave a like it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm, gets my uh, videos out there more. If uh, I said something you don't quite agree with or, or you've got more points or you've got some other things that have worked for you, please, hey, leave it in the comments. I am not a computer expert. I, I'm just telling you what works for me. So if you've got a different way of going about doing this, then have at it. Put it in the, in the comments. That's awesome. Uh, don't put Alt F4 because, you know, come on. Uh, <laughs> Now everybody's going to put Alt F4. Uh, by the way, if you've not played games very long on a, on a computer, it doesn't matter what game you play. If you hit Alt and F4 at the same time, it's going to kick you out of the game, just so you know. All right, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, also, you know, if you enjoy these videos and you get a chance to look at any of the other ones that I have, you you want to hang around for a bit, hey, hit the big red rectangle. Subscribe to Old Gamers Never Die. We'd love to have you. It's free to join. It's not like I'm charging anything to do these things. It's fun. And in the link below, I have the servers that I have up that I have uh, that we're playing Arc on with uh, the OGs. I also have a link to the Indecent Creens website where you can get to their servers where they play up Arc and Atlas. But yeah hit up on discord that's also in the links down there come to the page talk to us and maybe come out and play with me that'd be cool uh, i've got an island it's got plenty of room if you want to settle thank you all for watching i really appreciate it y'all take care stay safe and this is yuli signing out <laughs>